Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the first class of the unit number two. So we're starting second week. Ya estamos comenzando la segunda semana. So imagine. Next what? Next Tuesday, uh, we're going to be finishing unit two. Así que el otro martes vamos a estar finalizando lo que es la unidad dos. Okay. So here we have Ellie. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Ah, you are in a different part of your house, right? Sí. <laughs> it is nice. It's good. It's really good. So I'd like to see you again. So Steffi, you're still at work, right? Yes, you are at work. Yes, teacher. And Steffi, what time do you usually finish your job? What time do you usually go home? Uh, what do you think? 8.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, kind of. It's kind of late to, to tarde, but nice. Okay, so here we have, hello, everybody. We're going to start uh, this class. And, and we are in the class number six. Ya estamos en la clase número seis. Okay. So remember that next... Well, at the end of this unit, al final de esa unidad, we have to complete all the five homeworks and also the midterm. También debemos de, ter, de finalizar el eh, examen de medio curso, okay? La evaluación de medio curso. So, we are on the class number six, okay? So, the first question is, how often do you receive, receive, seminars or workshops when we say workshops we are talking about um talleres they can be related to work they can be related to personal growth uh, crecimiento personal it can be related to finance okay and, and different like like inducción es como puede ser hasta un tipo de inducción or whatever kind of workshop cualquier tipo de taller okay so tell me um, do you remember how to answer this question? ¿Se recuerdan cómo contestar esta pregunta? How often? ¿Qué tan a menudo? How do, how can we say una vez? Dos veces? Tres veces? Does anybody remember? Good night, teacher. Hoy sí, me conecté, teacher. Soy Claudia. Hello. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello. Good. How are you? Good, teacher. Okay. Oh. Nice. Um, we were wondering, estábamos preguntando por qué no te habías conectado. Uh -huh. But everything okay? Ah, porque resulta que mi teléfono anoche tenía poca carga y de ribete se fue la luz. <laughs> Oh, okay. Entonces me quedé a oscura sin luz. Entonces, ni modo, por eso no, no me conecté. Ok. Well, uh, nice to see you yes. again. Gusto de verte de nuevo. Ok. We're going to Thank check you. Thank this. You. Nice, Claudia. Ok. Yes. Uh, oh, no es on tweets on three. ¿Cómo sería? Ok. Mm. Tweets. Okay. Yes. Son los únicos dos que cambian. Ahí lo otro sería normal. Yes. Okay. Um, here sometimes people use this tries. A veces pueden decir three times. Tries es no, no es tan común. Tries. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so three times. Four times. Okay. You can use yes three times or you can say three times. Okay. Okay, um, so I don't know if you remember the frequency, Albert. Thank you, Duran. Very nice participation. Y para la, mis estudiantes del curso pasado, creo que se les olvidó. Los frequency adverbs, los adverbios de frecuencia. So we can say once. Okay, look at this. You can say once a week. Y en lugar de week, podemos decir month, que es una vez al mes. Or once a year, once a week, once a month, once a year. ¿Qué estamos diciendo ahí? Una vez a la semana. 
The other is una vez al mes y la otra es una vez al año. Once a year. Of course, you can say twice. Twice a month. Dos veces al mes. Dos veces al, a la semana, al año. Okay. So, uh, this is how you can answer this question. Okay. Eso es como ustedes pueden contestar esta uh, pregunta. How often do you receive seminars or workshops? Okay. So let's start with Duran. What about you, Duran? Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. In your case? Okay, creo que no, no me escuchaste la, la pregunta. Okay, let's start with no, Elisa. No. Okay, Elisa. How can you answer this? ¿Cómo puedes contestar esta pregunta? Once, twice, three times, thrice. Um, bueno, nosotros recibimos lo que es once, one a week. Okay. Eh, capacitation, eh, pero de quality. No, no, it's uh, okay. Um, it is okay because it is a seminar or workshop, okay? No importa el tema. Lo importante es que reciba. Mm -hmm. So that's it. One so week. Once a week. Perfect. That's once nice for you. Mm -hmm. Carito that, is to blame. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. Uh, Kenya, and then we go with Gabriel. Teacher, once a week. Once a week. La, la Caro es la culpable. Eso le digo que ella es la culpable. Ok, ok. Ella ya, nos ya. tiene ahí toda la semana haciendo exámenes también. Ya va Por a cierto, le, le debo como tres, creo. <ríe> ok. Ella es cierto también. <ríe> ok, ya vamos a ver si es cierto, ya la vamos a, a juzgar. No problem. Gabriel, and then we go with Steffi. Um, once a week, teacher. Once a week. Once a week. Nice. Steffi, and then we go with Oscar. Twice a year. Twice. Twice a year. Okay. Perfect. Oscar and Carlos. Once a week, teacher. Once a week. Okay, similar to Elisa and Kenya. And Carlos, your turn. Carlos and then Twice a week. I'm sorry? Twice a week. Twice. 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 Okay, twice, twice a week. week. Okay. Claudia and Mardo. Eh, sería three on mother. Mod, month. Three times or twice. Uh -huh. Twice. Twice. Try. Okay. Okay. Good. Eh, voy a necesitar que Oscar, si le, por favor, Oscar, mantén en silencio el micrófono solo cuando participes porque en tu casa hay demasiada interferencia. Okay. Please. And uh, we go now with um, Wendy and Pinto. Ya ves que puedo, no? Twice a year. Twice a year. That's that's nice. Twice a year. Pinto and Evelyn. Uh, we receive twice a year. Too. Okay. We receive. We receive twice a year. Okay. It can be, uh, for example, at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year or in the middle, okay? In the middle. It depends, it depends the on the company. Okay, uh, we go with Evelyn and Luis. Uh, twice a year. Twice a year, okay, similar to Pinto. Uh, Luis and Wilfredo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Three, three times a month. Oh, wow, three times a month. Mm -hmm. Almost weekly, casi semanalmente, almost. Okay, uh, Wilfredo okay. and Duran. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, once a week. Once a week. Okay. Duran and Carito. Uh, this a month, teacher. Uh, okay. Twice. Twice. Twice or thrice? No, twice a month. Okay. Twice a month. Okay, good. And Carito, are you there? I have to use once, twice, or three times because I receive uh, seminars every two or three years. Every two or three years, yes. Okay, Cada. every two or three years, okay. So nice, but Carito, you, 
you supply or you give seminars, right? Yes, every every week. Every week. Uh -huh. Aquí me está poniendo queja. Sí, there ya me di cuenta. There are some complaints. <laughs> Bastante queja. Complaints. Okay, complain <laughs> es quejarse. But y también complain es queja, pero si dicen complaints es quejas de plural, okay? So we are listening to some complaints, but workshops and seminars are so important. Um, that, that, that's you know that they are important, but uh, because they have to well every every employee should improve <coughs> their functions and abilities. Yes, well, that's it. Bien, aunque dice que mucha tarea, pero bueno, ya vamos a ver. Yo le voy a dar más tarea, Carita. Okay, so how often do you receive? Receive, okay? Here we have once, twice. Three times. Sé que a veces está un poquito ocupado, pero necesito que me pongan atención en, en, en la pronunciación, porque a veces yo las he dicho dos veces y todavía se me equivocan, ¿verdad? Necesito, en ese, en ese aspecto, cuando veamos estas cosas, necesito que se enfoquen, ¿ok? Once, twice, three times, ¿ok? And we can say a week, a month, a year, ¿ok? So, that's, that's interesting. Industry vocabulary, that is the topic of this class, is the tema de, 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 de esta clase. So we're going to talk about, uh, well, some companies related to industry that they create products because we have also commerce companies, compañía de comercio, that that's different because they buy and then sell products, but industry, they create, okay? They create uh, products and then sell them. So that's a big difference. And here we have this, ways to say difficult. When we say challenge, challenge is un reto. And even in the social media, it is common to say the challenge. I guess there was a challenge of uh, a bucket. Creo que había una, un challenge, un reto como una cubeta de agua helada, así con hielo, me parece. I guess I saw it like a couple of years ago. So that was a challenge. Es un reto. Y, y se decía, ¿verdad? Reto a tal persona. I challenge X person. Y así, es un reto. But challenging es como algo retador. Algo que es difícil. But you can do it. It's difficult that you can do it. Okay? Tough. Tough es igual a hard. Okay? Vamos a ponerlo acá. Uh, tough and hard and harsh, I, there are synonyms, okay? Their meaning is, is this, almost the same. Tough es duro, hard, difícil. Harsh también es, es complicado, difícil. Similar to complicated, complicated. You can say complicated, but remember in American English, when we have a T and then we have a vowel, the T sounds like an R. El, la T suena como R, por ejemplo. You can say tomato, but usually we say tomato, tomato, right? Y ahí se cumple lo que les estoy diciendo, que la T suena como R. Cuando hay una vocal después, okay? Tomato, complicated, okay? Um, so in this case, complicated is like a real loving song. It's a really good song from the, in the end of the 90s. Tricky, I like this word, most esta, 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 esta palabra, tricky. It's like, es cuando algo es difícil y tramposo. For example, when we have interviews, we have tricky questions. Tenemos preguntas que son difíciles, pero son tramposas. Okay? And the first one, the basic one is, how are you? How old are you? Entonces la gente confunde, how are you? Con how old are you? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? How old are you? ¿Qué edad tienes? ¿Cuántos años tienes? So people, when they, they hear, how are you? Ellos a veces dicen, because they are nervous, say, uh, I am 34 years old. So that's kind of a tricky questions, for example. So tricky is tramposo or difícil. Demanding. I use uh, this word demanding is demandante. Something that is uh, in, in your obligations, but it, 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 you need to do more effort. Necesita hacer más esfuerzo. Hard, que ya estaba, it's repeated. Effortful, you need a lot of effort to do something, to reach a goal, okay? 
So I repeat, challenging, challenging, challenge. I'm going to write it like this. Challenge, challenge, okay. Eh, cuando tenemos a veces la G, ¿verdad? La N y la G a veces suena como shh, ese sound. Challenge, challenging. Y aquí sería challenging, challenging. Ok, challenge, challenging. Top. La G y la H suenan como una F. Top, top, como los toffee. Do you remember toffee is candies? Those are like, oh, like, Like chocolate, it's really good. Like not like coffee. Eran como, como, como de café, right? Really good. The toffee. So toffee, tough, tough. Okay. Hard, harsh, complicated, complicated, tricky, tricky, demanding, not demanding, demanding, como December, demanding, December, demanding, effortful. Okay. So I need you to. Pick one of these words that you consider like interesting, or maybe uh, it uh, called your attention and pronounce it. Okay. So we start with um, una jefa demandante. Tenemos acá. Carito. Okay. Pick one. And then we go with Oscar. Okay. Effortful. Nice. Oscar Gabriel. Complicated. Complicated. Uh, we have also. Effortful. Okay, effortful. Good. Good, Gabriel. Kenya, Elisa. Demanding. Demanding, nice. Elisa Pinto. Complicated. 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 Pinto, Mardo. Tough. Tough. Good. Eh, Mardo, eh, Durant. Hard. Nice. Durant, Claudia. Tricky. Tricky. Okay, Claudia, Kenya. Uh, harsh. Harsh. Okay. Kenya, Wendy. Complicated. Mm -hmm. Complicated. Uh -huh. De al final. Wendy, Complicated. Steffi. Complicated. Yes. Complicated. Uh, Wendy. Chal yep. Challenging. Challenging. Yes, I like this word. Me gusta bastante esta palabra. Steffi, Carlos. Tough. Tough. Como que estás bailando, te ves, Steffi. Ok, Carlos, Evelyn. Hard. Hard. Uh -huh. Evelyn, Luis. Tricky. Nice. Luis, Wilfredo. Demanding. Ok, Wilfredo, Yvette. Uh, challenger. Challenger. Okay. Good. Ajá, uh -huh. Yvette, your turn. Tough. And Claudia. Tough. No sé si ya pasó Claudia. Um, Ok, eh, Edwin. Ok, Edwin, pick one. Tricky. Ok, tricky, complicated. Ok, there are some like interesting and easy. Hay unos fáciles, por ejemplo, hard. Hard es, es, significa duro, como hard rock, como el rock, ¿verdad? Rock un poquito pesado, ¿verdad? Hard rock. Hay hard rock café. Es tanta, es fácil, ¿verdad? Y ese complicated son de las palabras que se llaman así, miren. En inglés se llaman cognates. Los cognates son palabras como, por ejemplo, car, por ejemplo, effort, que son básicamente como que tienen la misma raíz que el español. Car, carro. Effort, esfuerzo. Entonces se parecen. Entonces, eso se llaman cognates. So, As a recommendation, you have to try and memorize these kind of words, complicated. Porque son las primeras que se te van a venir al cerebro, porque se parecen a tu lengua materna. It, they are similar to, to Spanish. So complicated, car, all those, okay? So that's it, but definitely you can memorize tricky, demanding, mm -hmm, challenging, well, demandante, demanding, they are kind of similar. So um, I'm going to check the attendance list. I will need you to say hi, hello, if you listen to your name. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Perfect, teacher. Hello. Perfect, my friend. You are like ready to say. Uh, Pinto. Present, teacher. Good. Carito. 
Okay, Carito, I don't know where is she. Present teacher. Nice, Carito. Okay, are you okay? No, eres Carito, te queremos. Edwin, hello. Present teacher, hello. Nice. Ellie. Present teacher. Good one. Steffi. Present. Okay, Evelyn. Present. Good. Gabriel. Present teacher. Good. Duran. Present teacher. Thank you, Yvette. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Jackie, no. Kenya. Present teacher. Good. Luis. I'm here, teacher. You are there. Mardo. Present teacher. Nice. Marvin, Mayra, Oscar. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Nina, no, Wes. Nina, no. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Claudia. I am here, teacher. You are there and Wendy. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, my dear friends. So, um, as a recommendation, como recomendación, pueden, you can advance in the homeworks, pueden avanzar en las tareas. Recuerde que son cinco tareas por cada unidad, o sea que corresponde a una tarea después de cada clase. But as you are so smart, you can do it in advance. Pueden hacerla por adelantado. Recuerden que si salen mal en alguna de esas tareas, pueden volverlas a hacer. Okay, so that's really good. That is something positive from that platform because you have a lot of chances. Tienen muchos, muchas oportunidades para obtener una buena nota. Okay, so that's it. Wilfredo está rezando. Okay, Wilfredo, yes, we need to pray. So, traten de hacerlas avanzándolas, ¿verdad? Eh, con anticipación y recuerden para el otro martes eh, ya debemos de tener el examen de medio curso, el de medio curso verdad so, son dos exámenes, digamos grandecitos verdad el de medio curso a las dos semanas y al final ok, so um, let's move to this and here we have this, remember that we studied personal and personal ok Belonging to a particular person and people who work for a company. Well, that's something easy. But we don't we don't need to, to check it. Okay. Let's do cinco segundos. Try to remember. Traten de recordar dos de estos. Okay. Okay. Check algún día van a confirmar en su memoria de corto plazo. I know, lo voy a lograr algún día. Someday, someday. Ok, the first person. Nuestra persona que está viendo hacia abajo. Wilfredo. And then Gabriel. Juan. Wilfredo. Dig. I'm sorry. Dig. 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 Quiero ver si no me estás inventando. Ah, did, did. Ok, did, did. okay. Gabriel en Carlos. No, no quieren. Eh, le. Ok. Oh, ok, thank you. Eh, Carlos, Wendy. Eh, ya dijo Gabriel, verá, be le, be become, todavía. Ah, ok, become, good. Por eso es bueno tener dos opciones o tres. Para todo es bueno tener opciones. ¿Va, Carito? Ok, okay. Yes, ok. Wendy, Evelyn. Spoke. Spoke, sí, como el de, como el de Star Trek. Spoke. Uh -huh. <laughs> Evelyn and Claudia. But. Okay, Claudia, Yvette. Uh, Expo. Mm, Expo. <laughs> ¿Qué estás inventando? Spoke, ya la dijeron, Claudia. Ajá, pues sí, este era, pero. No. Solo de eso me acuerdo. Qué bárbara. <laughs> Yvette and. El. Okay, good. Carito en Pinto. Uh, went went ok Pinto and Mardo Found. ok Mardo Luis build mm -hmm. build uh, Luis Eli become ok thank you these are ir irregular yes. verbs and they are in past in past participle están en pasado participio verdad entonces, vamos a preguntarle aquí a quién lo va a preguntar. Déjenme ver. Kenia. 
Cuando tenemos ING, por ejemplo, decimos working, sabemos que es ando, ¿verdad? Trabajando. Ahora, lo, el pasado participio, los verbos en español normalmente, ¿en qué terminan? ¿Cuál es el sufijo? ¿Cuáles son las últimas letras? Ado, ido. Okay. Carito. Carito, hello there. Y es ado, edo. Ok, tranquila, carito, relax. Ajá, ado, edo, ¿verdad? Hablado, bailado, besado, golpeado, cortado. Hablado, ok, yes. Um, pero tenemos excepciones, ¿verdad? Uh, como roto, no rompido, roto, yes, and some others. But here we have did, known, dog, bent, laid, made, built, a lot of, okay? So this is for us to be aware, para estar más conscientes, que ya estamos en el tema de verbos regulares y irregulares. Y créanme, believe it, this course is, well, these topics are mm, like kind of demanding effortful, son un poquito más difíciles, but not impossible. So, here we have a worksheet, and in this case, antes de irnos a estos verbos, these are regulars. Look at this. These are irregulars. No se parecen en nada. But the regulars, los regulares, el, el, tienen una característica. Carito, what is the characteristic of regular verbs? Cuando los, when we change into the past, cuando lo cambiamos al pasado. Que terminan en ed. Es easy piece. Okay, it's a piece of cake. Like Terminan cake. en ed. Yeah, that's it. No llores, carito, hombre. Tranqui. Todo va a pasar. Todo va a pasar. Okay. When we change the verbs into the past, regular verbs, tienen tres tipos de sonidos. Elisa, tienen tres tipos de sonidos cuando terminan en ed. Uh -huh. um, Inventame algo. Solo recuerdo que uno era T. Ok, T. Yes, T. T. Nice. Carlos. E, D. E, D. It. Ok. Ajá. E, D. E, D. E, D. E, D. Ajá. And the other. El otro. Ok. Y el otro. Se lo preguntamos a Ivette. ¿Qué dice? No, ojalá que no me pregunten. Ajá, Ivette. No me acuerdo del otro. Ok, no problem. No problem. No me acuerdo del otro. ¿Cómo que? Ok. What about Claudia? Eh, in. ¿Mm? Sorry. Eh, in, 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 ¿qué? Me gusta que inventen, Claudia. I like it. Me gusta esa creatividad, but no. <risa> no. No, this. no. Ya ven cómo mienten las mujeres. ¿Se dan cuenta? Ok. So, we have T. We have ED. And the other is... In. D. D. Yes. No, ve el otro, tranquilo, Durán. No nos estás exponiendo. Es, es como, como termina como con T. Sí, yes. ¿Qué pasó? I'm sorry. Kenia, ¿qué pasó? Kenia? Exactamente eso iba a decir. Ya nos pusiste. Ya, ya nos exhibiste. Yes, entonces se los muestro de nuevo. Ok. Tenemos, tenemos, ok. Miren. This one's. Y estoy haciendo énfasis en eso porque este, este tema, uh, si no lo captamos bien, la gente, bueno, normalmente no lo no, 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 nos cuesta. Por eso hago énfasis, para que a futuro no les cueste. Y cuando ya sepan manejar esto, me van a agradecer a mí. Ah, este tiche José no nos no explicó bien, le vamos a mandar una canasta. Ok, so, ED. T. Ok. And the other one is... D, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a poner un par de ejemplos. Acá, déjenme ver. Aquí creo que eso todavía... Eh, Wendy, ¿todavía se logra ver? Yes, ok. Por ejemplo, este. Ya me van a decir uno, un par de verbos, depende de ustedes. Miren. Waited, needed, pretended, tasted. Ok. Todos terminan en I, D. En español, o sea, id, por ejemplo, ve, wanted. Ahora, con T, ese es el que más cuesta, ¿verdad? Es ask, ¿verdad? Tiene que sonar, ¿ok? Pero tampoco, sino que la T. Missed, kissed, crossed. Y la otra que es D. Planned, answered, called. Ok, so you, 
select whatever you want to say, but in the past. Seleccionen cualquiera que quieran decir, ya sea con los ID, eh, con ID, eh, con T o con D. Uh -huh. I consider that T are like demanding, like kind of tough, okay? But try, try, intenten cualquiera, o sea, ID, T, D. We're going to start with Ellie and then we go with Claudia. Park. Okay, park. Good. Uh, Claudia, Wendy. Uh, uh, rent. Mm -hmm. Está rent, pero rent tiene que sonar así. ¿ve? Es que a eso pongan la Ajá. atención. ¿ve? A eso pongan la atención. Red. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Red. No. Rented. No. Eh, rented. Ah. Ok. Uh, we go ah. now with uh, who else? Wendy, creo. No, ya pasaste otra Wendy. Luis, en carito. Ay, ay. One, two. Ok. Good. Carito, Gabriel. Danced. Good. Gabriel, Kenya. Knees. Eh, need. Need. Ajá, need. Ok. Kenny Amardo. Touch. Good. Eh, Mardo y Bet. Mardo, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Relaxed. Relaxed. Ok. Eh, we go with Ivet and Oscar. Dance. 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 Okay. Dance. Ok. No, dance, dance. Oscar en Carlos. Uy, a yo, hasta yo sentí el dolor, pero... Ok, check. Carlos Evelyn. What? Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál decís? Wait. ¿O cuál decís? Wait. Es, Wait. Eh, vaya, pero tiene que sonar así, Carlos. Tiene que sonar así, ve. No sé cómo sería. No, no, estoy... What? 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 Vaya. Por eso, este es B. Vaya. No, no. no es okay, wait. Ese, wait. Ajá, okay. Sería waited. Waited. Es que tiene que sonar así, ve, al final. Waited. Ok. And we go with um, Evelyn and Wilfred. Ask. Ask. Uh, good. Very nice. Wilfredo Edwin. Also. Answered. Edwin Pinto. Good. Pinto, Luis. I'm sorry, Pinto. Colin. Okay, good. Uh, Luis and Durán. Sería con cualquiera de las tres. Sí, cualquiera en pasado. Eh, te escuchas lejos, Luis. No sé si. Sí, no sé qué problemas tengo, porque no oigo bien. Igual a usted lo escucho bien, así lejos. Ajá. No sé qué problemas tengo. Eh, acércate un poco así el, el micrófono. Sí, lo tengo cerca. Aquí, ahí se escucha bien. Ok. ¿Y tú nos escuchas? Sí, los escucho así como. No, no como siempre los he escuchado de fuerte. Ok. Intenta, intenta desenchufar el. ¿Cómo se llama? La, la espiga y vuelve a poner. Tal vez eso es. A mí me, me ha pasado eso. Mira. Ok, desenchufala. Desenchufala y enchufala. ¿no? Ya lo dice. Ajá, y siempre nos escucha desde lejos. Siempre, y cambié de audífonos para ver si eran los audífonos, pero no, no son los audífonos. Ahora ya te escuchamos mejor, pero quizás yo, la entrada. Yo los escucho así como, como suave. Creo que es la... Ya la lo voy a revisar. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, ¿con quién nos quedamos? Déjeme ver. Me too sure. Okay, please. Oh, closed. Okay, closed. Good. Okay, thank you. That's it. Ahora, lo que les quiero explicar, digamos, en, en, en concreto, es que el, los verbos en regulares van a sonar al final con ID, con T o con D. Todos van a tener ED. Todos, todos, todos. Pero se dividen en tres tipos de pronunciaciones. Okay, that's it. Ahora, 
Hay, por ejemplo, patrones. Por ejemplo, lo que termina en S y en, y en K va a sonar como T. ¿Ok? Así que necesito que le den una revisada a este listado que ya lo tienen. You have it on your cell phone because I sent it yesterday. Ayer lo envié. Así que revisen este listado ahí en sus, en la, en la galería de imágenes, que solo sé que tienen imágenes positivas, sé que tienen imágenes súper inocentes, but please check it, revísenlo. Ok. And we're going to do this. Vamos a hacer esto. Ok. Walk, study, arrive, marry, and wait like need use help. Ok. Ahora, vean cualquiera de esos verbos y vean si terminan en T, si termina, si termina en ID o en D. And let's do it. Y vamos a hacer. Ok. Kenya, can you help me with one? Teacher. <laughs> Me acuerdo que lo guardé. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Te daré tiempo, okay, Kenya? No sí, problem. sí, sí, teacher. Okay. Um, Wendy, are you ready? Uh, yes. Uh, the seven? Number seven. Mm -hmm. You liked the movie? Yes. I didn't. Okay, uh, good. Entonces, seven es en pasado. Like. Pero la pronunciación es T. Uh -huh. You liked the movie. I didn't. A ti te gustó la película, pero a mí no. Ok. Good. Carito. And then Pinto. Ok. I have two issues, right? Yep. Uh, la perdí. Yo dije eso hace un par de años. Yes. Ok. Number, number two. Number what? Number two. two. Okay. He studied hmm? computers for five years. Studied, uh huh, con D. Mm -hmm. Computers okay. for five years. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Pinto and Kenya. Number eight. Bob and needed the book yesterday. Yes, Bob needed. ¿Te das cuenta cómo se escucha? Bien, needed. Bien, bien claro. Uh -huh. Needed, pero como acá lleva ID. Entonces, esto, bien, vaya, por ejemplo, cuando están hablando en pasado, needed. Se escucha bien claro en comparación de need. Need es presente. Needed. Ok, thank you. And we go with eh, Kenya and Pardo. Ok, teacher. Number one. Number one. Uh -huh. I, I watch, pero es I walk. Uh -huh. Work last week. Uh -huh. I walked. Uh -huh. I walked last week. Uh -huh. Lo que estoy poniendo en paréntesis es cómo se pronuncia. Okay, the pronunciation. Perfect. Mardo, and then we go with Evelyn. Marto, creo que estás hablando con tu conciencia, my friend. Con tu Perdón. Interior. Perdón. Okay. Number, number 10. Number a 10. Teacher, a teacher helped the student after class. Yes, the teacher helped the students after class. Good one. And we go with Evelyn and then Ellie. Number three. Okay, number three. Um, they arrived. Uh -huh. They late, arrived late for the party. Yes, that's it. If you notice, uh, there's a big difference. Arrived and arrived. Arrived. Okay. And who else? Ellie. And then we go with Edwin. Number five. Okay, five. It and at six p.m. Ok. ¿Cuál sería la, 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 la finalización? ¿Con D, con T o con ID? Con T. Mm, ended. 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 Como ended. needed. Mm, si te das cuenta, needed termina con D. Ok. Sí. Thank you. Thank you very much. We go with whom? ¿Con quién? Ya se me acuerdo. 
se me fue el avión. Who was going? Lo que me gusta es que se esconden ustedes. Edwin. Ok, Edwin, ya me acordé. Edwin, and then we go with um, Wilfredo. Ok, number six. Six. Ellen White for an hour. Yes, waited, waited for an hour. Thank you. Ok, we go now with Wilfredo and then we go with Gabriel. Uh, number nine. nine. They use my new pen. Ok, aquí sería con te used. Ok. Used. They used. Ok. And Gabriel, number four. Ok, Gabriel, no. Ok, si Gabriel no está listo, entonces vamos con Yvette. ¿Con qué letra crees que termina esto? Uh -huh. Intenta. Eh, eh, Marriott. Eh. Ok, Marriott. Termina Marriott. con J. Marriott. Okay. ok. Thank you, my friends. Ok, we continue. Okay. Ok, so now let's move. Ya vimos esto. Ok. And se recuerdan de los superlativos. Ok, now we are clear about adjectives, comparative and superlative. Aquí en los comparative estamos comparando dos objetos, dos personas, dos lugares, situaciones. En superlative es cuando alguien sobresale, una, un lugar sobresale. Ok, por ejemplo, it's an hypothetical case, caso hipotético. La niña Juanita. Es la más chambrosa de la empresa. Is the most gossip of not the gossip past. Entonces, estamos diciendo que ella sobresale. That person, is, it, she has that characteristic. Ella tiene esa característica, ¿ok? Ella sobresale, ¿ok? Or you can say, Carito es la más creída de toda la, la empresa. So, she is like quiet and she doesn't say anything, ¿verdad? Entonces, ella sobresale de toda la empresa, ¿ok? Por esa característica. Pero sé que no. Salud, carito. Ok. Um, here we have this. Conversation. Ok. Take a look at this. Después me dicen de qué trata. Ok. Ok. And now, como ustedes son muy buenos, tienen mi mente fotográfica. Carlos. And then we go with. Um, Wilfredo, que está riendo. Ok, Carlos. Words, uh, phrases. Um, hello, manufacturing. Ok, manufacturing. Ok, Wilfredo, Edwin. Por eso me está riendo, teacher, porque vi empañado en el momento que lo puse. Porque... Y con el otro ojo estaba viendo. Ok, oh, wow. nice. Ok, relax, relax. Will. Te vamos a dar oportunidad. Edwin y Beth. Ok. Cardboard. Cardboard, good. Ok, Yvette and Ellie. Uh, mm, Sorry, ok. Ok, good. And Ellie, Wendy. Teacher, es que un en ese momento volteé a ver que las niñas están echando veneno aquí, no tienen autorizado tocar insecticidas. Pensé que a ti te están echando. Ok, no problem. Relax. No, relax. Es... Bueno. That happens. Eso pasa. Muy a menudo. Wendy, Oscar. Manufacturing and fit. Ah, ok. Oscar and Gabriel. Teacher, igual no lo puede ver. Qué bárbaro, Oscar. Ok. No problem. Gabriel. Seminar. Oh, good. Seminar. We were talking about seminar at the beginning of the class. Ok, Luis. Bien, Luis, eh, en este momento, ¿sí escuchas lo que estoy hablando? ¿Me escuchas en este momento? Escribe en el chat, pero de aquí de Zoom, no de WhatsApp, aquí en el chat. Tú me dices, Luis, ¿me escuchas? Pienso, eh, teacher, que sí lo escucho, pero lo oigo más suave todavía. No sé, right. la verdad, no había pasado, no sé qué problemas tengo. Si no entra a, a configuraciones de, de Zoom... 
y uh -huh. ahí hay niveles de audio. Ok, Carito. Eh, a mí me pasó eso la otra vez, ¿se acuerda? Que no los escuchaba, lo que hice fue salirme de la, de la reunión y volver a entrar y ya me agarró bien el sonido. Ok. Eh, Luis, ¿puedes intentar eso? eso? Ok, intenta. Please. Gracias, Carito. Como dicen los ingenieros de sistemas, salga y vuelva a entrar. Ok, así reinicia. Esa es la, la vieja confiable. Permítame. I'm sorry. Estoy estornudando y apenas es miércoles. It's impossible. Ok, es imposible que suceda. Ok, so, seminar. We have seminar. Nice to meet you. Escuché por ahí. Eh, manufacture. Yes, manufacture. Nice. Ok, that's better. Ok, that's it. Um, here we have manufacture. Cardboard significa cartulina o cartón. If you want to take notes, cardboard is that cartulina o cartón. Boxes, caja. Packaging, packaging, packaging como challenging. Packaging, challenging, packaging, challenging. <clears throat> Branches. Headquarters. Ok, tenemos my name is Rick, Ricky. Ok, we have Rick and we have Jack. Ok, for this one, I will need uh, Mardo, you're going to be Rick. And Oscar, you're going to be Jack Sparrow. Ok, Ricky Martin, okay. Jack Sparrow versus. My name is Rick, nice to meet you. Oscar. Ok, eh, nice to meet you too. Hay eh, Jack for, for Inex In. What does, what does Inex In do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard eh, box for eh, packaging. Comparison. Company. Oh, Company. I see. Company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many brushes? Yes, uh, it does. It does. We have uh, 10 manufacturing uh, branches. branches in the country. And where, where are the headquarters? They They are Panama. Ok, Panama. Ok, como la canción de Van Halen. Good. Um, my name is Rick. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, Mardo and Oscar. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I work for Inex. Cuando ustedes dicen, I work for Siman, I work for Curacao, or whatever company, I work for. I work for. When you say, I work in, se está refiriendo en el lugar. Por ejemplo, I work in San Salvador. I work in... Um, La Gran Vía Mall and something like that, or Multiplaza Mall. But I work for, se refiere a la empresa, okay? And what does Inex? Inex, that's the name of the company, como Inex es, el grupo, pero aquí solo sería Inex, okay? Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture, o sea, que producen, ¿verdad? Es, this is an industry company. We manufacture cardboard boxes, o sea, cajas de cartón, ¿verdad? For packaging companies, para compañías de, 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 de eh, empacadoras. Oh, I see. Does Inex have any branches? Okay, here we have branch. Ya vamos a ver qué es branches. ¿Tiene branch? ¿Sucursal? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? Headquarters, okay. Um, headquarters es las oficinas centrales, okay. They are in Panama. Okay. Head, como cabeza, head. Quarter o quarter, como las, las monedas de 25 centavos, pero nosotros no decimos quarter. ¿Es como ¿verdad? la casa matriz? Mm, pues más allá de ser casa matriz, ¿puedes leerme esto, Carito? The place. 
headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main office. Main offices. Mm -hmm. Main offices. O sea, que son más que todas las oficinas centrales. Normally, they have like, as you say, right? But this is kind of administration. Ya es una cuestión administrativa. But branch is, Pinto, can you help me read it? A shop or office. Is a branch. A shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Okay, that's it. Yes, yes, that's it. So um, in this case, if you can see, um, headquarters es la oficina centrales, administrativas y todo eso, y tenemos branch, que son las sucursales. Pueden ser ya como tiendas comerciales o pueden ser eh, también ensamblaje. O sea, okay. Entonces, quarter es cuarto, ok, pero como que igual headquarters es una palabra compuesta. Uh, Carito, can you help me with the screenshot, please? Ready, teacher. Thank you, my dear Frito. I will. Um, let's practice this short conversation and then see you in a couple of seconds. Let me see here. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, let me see. What's the problem? Carlos, necesito que aceptes. ¿Cuál? Es que estás conectado en dos dispositivos. Sí, te Ajá. Okay. ok, pero no me sale, teacher, ahorita. La... Como no te las he enviado. Pero... Le había enviado a uno. Ok, permiso. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué te saliste? Me, me saca de un solo. Pero te las he mandado con, con en los dos dispositivos. En alguno te tiene que funcionar. Uh, okay. Okay. Voy a intentar con el de la compu porque el que más uso es el del teléfono. Ok. And where are you can get me? And where are the uh, and where are the headquarters? They're they're in Panama. Okay. 
have money. Yes, I does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are they? We have three ma manufacturing branches in the country. Uh, and where? And where are the headquarters? There in Panama. My name. Okay, I will need um, some other pronunciation. What if we listen to Carito? Who was your partner, Carito? My partner was Gabriel. Gabriel, please. Okay, okay, sí, yes. Okay, comienzo. My name is Ricky, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I am Jack. I work for Ines Inc. What do is I need into Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Do is I need have money voucher? Yeah, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? Headquarters. They are okay. in Panama. Okay, thank okay. you. Gabriel, eso te salió del fondo del corazón. Eso fue lo más sincero que he escuchado este día. Headquarters. Solo palabras sinceras, tío. Ajá, yes. Gabriel es un ejemplo de cómo somos nosotros de honestos. Ok. Headquarters. Headquarters. Quarters. 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 En El Salvador, a los cuartos de dólar, quarter, les decimos... Cora. Cora. <laughs> yes, but Quarter it's dollar, not yes. Cora. It's quarter. <laughs> mm -hmm. En teoría, en un, en un universo paralelo ideal, le diríamos quarter. ¿Verdad? Pero no, nosotros le decimos Cora. Salvadoreños, somos muy lindos para inventar palabras. O más bien modificarlas. Good. Listening. We're going to have a conversation, but you have to listen and tell me the words that you can identify phrases, ideas, but mainly the topic. I would like you to identify the topic. I mean, the objective of this conversation. Para que escuchen como el objetivo en sí de esta conversación. Right? So, um, so we're going, please be ready with your pen, pencil. Okay? And then you tell me what you understood. Que entendí. Okay, here we go. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. 
let's do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right, I'll do it today. Thanks, this next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to get a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry, take your time. Okay, and now let's uh, listen again. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Let's do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to get a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Okay. Um, the pronunciation was kind of clear, right? So, um, hello, Luis. Can you hear well? Yes. Hey, teacher, I see. Oh, es que está carito, debería, yo creo que de soporte está carito, ya veo que. Nice, very nice. Después te va a cobrar, dice. Good. Okay, let's uh, start with Luis and Claudia. Tell me words, phrases. Okay, teacher. Uh, can you help me? It's important customer Germany next week. Priority, I do Sunday. is a prayer, everyone. Should no problem. I'll meet in room. Ne need to book yes of course new project next month sometime no problem i can do it okay i can do it good fíjate luis que creo que como ya se arregló el audio se escucha bastante fuerte cuando te lo acercas pero así ah, se pues escucha no, bastante acercar, bien. no that así como estás that's perfect good luis yes, you, yes. you uh, wrote a lot of words escribiste muchas palabras that's nice yes, yes. Eh, bien claudia en carlos eh... And Mario, can you help me visit customer and lawyer and a room? Finally, can the work is so mental. It admitted. Okay, good. Carlos and Pinto. Okay, import, important. Animal net queen book out of course. Some, some team, no problem. Consumer project. Ok, sometime or something, así ah, something creo que dijo también. Ok, eh, Pinto en Carito. Prepare something for next month. I will do today write a short report. There's no worries. Perfect. Okay. Sounds really good. Carito en Eli. Mario, can you help me? Um... Visit customer in Germany, prepare next month, next week, priority, urgent, tax, invite next week, write a short report for the managers, two or three weeks, animal, that's all. Okay, animals, animales. Animal, I don't know what is there. Animal, okay, good. Ya vamos a ver si no me inventas, Carita, es que hoy últimamente me inventan mucho ustedes. Eli. Okay. Hi, Marian. Next month. Okay. I need, I need visit customer is import health next week. Right today. Okay. 
yes, book, yes, of course, report next month, sometime, and the next. Good. Perfect. Okay. Well, we're going to. Uh, Alguien tiene otras palabras que no hayan mencionado? Do you have many? One or two words? Yep. Okay. Priority. Okay, priority. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Priority. Kenya. Report. Report. Good, Gabriel. Kenya. Okay, teacher. Hi, Mario. Can you hear me? Oh, just a queer. Just a girl. Presentation manager. Sometimes. Okay, good. Now let's um, check. Vamos a revisar. Thank you. Okay, here we have a conversation. Yes, Mario. Mario is one of the, uh, the, the people in this conversation. So here we have, uh, it is a dialogue talking about work, definitely. Okay, so let's listen the last time so you can check the words. Mario, can you help me prepare some things for the next month? I'm sorry, again. Hi, Mario, can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure, what can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. Why can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Please do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right, I'll do it today. Thanks, this next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to get a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Okay, uh, practically we have, and basically a, a conversation about work. So Sus uh, Suzanne is demanding, is asking, for things uh, Mario to do, okay? Um, so can you send an email? Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, ask them, when can I visit them? Um, please send everyone an email, can you see? So it is like a list of things to do, okay? Finally, you write a short report. So it, Susanne is asking, uh, to Mario to do the things, okay? Uh, in words, new words, maybe we can have priority. Priority, maybe there's no hurry, no hay un apuro, no hay, digamos, no, no hay tanta urgencia. Um, let's see. I guess you already know of these words. Ya conocen todas esas, esas palabras. Yeah, no problem with this. Okay, let's move in. Famous phrases. Tenemos fases de los famosos. Y como ustedes ya las practicaron como unas 20, 30 veces, sé que lo van a decir muy fluido. Okay, it's a lot of fluency. I know. So to start this, uh, we're going to have Pinto as the first. And after Pinto, we have Luis. Okay. Ready, hey, Pinto? Can you hear me? Yep. It's because it's, it's raining. Yes, it's, uh, well, we can hear like uh, that, uh, that sound. Escuchamos okay. el sonido. Maybe but... have two famous phrases. Okay. The first one, seek me and you will live. That's it, Jiffy. Who, who said that? Who? Who said that? Seek me and you will live. 
Ah, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ, right? Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, and second the, one, the second one, it is not easy to keep silence when the silence is a lie. Victor Hugo. Okay, it is not easy to, to see. No es fácil ver. No es easy to see. It is not easy it, to see. It, it's not easy to keep this silence mm. when silence is a lie. Ah, good. It is not easy to keep the silence when the silence, silence is a lie. Okay, no es when fácil mantener el silencio cuando. Es una mentira. mentira. I have never heard about it. Victor Hugo Always say the truth. Always say the truth. Always say the truth. Okay, como nosotros los hombres. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes Victor Hugo. Ruth. Yes, Kenya. Tú sí sabes. Que sí. Luis en Carito. Okay, teacher. The family process is nothing. Roger forces authority as much as silence. Okay. Wow. Who said eh, that? Leonardo da Vinci. Ah, really, Leonardo da Vinci. One of the biggest brains in, in, in this world, okay? Yes, yeah, so I love it. Uh, thank you. Carito, and we go with Wendy. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, okay. Yes, can you repeat it again, please? Insanity, right? Creo que estás, es, parece mimo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Okay, insanity. La locura, verdad? Eh, o demencia. Demencia es hacer mm -hmm. lo mismo, right? Once. Yes, that's the idea. Okay, good. Hacer lo mismo y esperar un resultado diferente. Yes. Well, so true. That's so true in every aspect of your life. Totally true. Thank you. Okay, Wendy, and then we go with Oscar. Okay. Don't let the noise of others' opinions draw out your inner voice. Oh, uh, wow. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. No dejes que, la, que las otras opiniones, que las right? Silencien o, o callen tu voz, okay? Good. Uh, uh -huh. Steve Jobs, yes. A really intelligent man. And Oscar, and then we go with Duran. Okay, teacher. Uh, what's your talk? Because they will become your work. What's okay. your work? Because they will become your action. They care of your action because they will become your habit. habit. They care of your habits because they will become your destiny. Uh, author Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, really, really interesting, really interesting. It's like a chain, it's like a chain of the, the devils, yeah. yes. Perfect, Oscar, I like it. I like that a lot. Okay, who's next? Um, Duran and Wendy, and Claudia, I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. Um, yeah. You only like arms, but I will do, I write, arms is an album. Uh, May West. May West. Uh -huh. You only live once. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. But if you do a right, arms is enough. Okay. Perfect. Um, we go now with Claudia and then we go with Carlos. Uh, yes. Uh, look for the last time and um, give your last hook and lift. Tap our door of breath, sell with your last kiss. Okay. Who said that? The author? El autor? Uh, so let's... <laughs> no, eh, autor. Rome, sí, Romeo Julieta. Es de Romeo y Julieta. Ah, no from, Romeo y Julieta. From and Juliet, from Shakespeare. Yes. De, okay. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Carlos, 
And after Carlos, we go with Mardo. Okay, teacher. Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> okay, elementary, my dear Watson. Obviously, uh, that's Hello. from, from uh, Sherlock Holmes, right? Yes, yes. Tengo la segunda, second, second, uh -huh. uh, life in Laking, reading a bicycle to keep your balance, you must keep moving. Okay, you must uh, keep on moving. Who said that? Quien dijo eso? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Okay, interesting, okay. my friend. And after Carlos, we have Mardo. To improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Okay, can you repeat a great it again? Phrase. Oh, I'm sorry, continue, continue. A great phrase for, by Winston Churchill that invites reflection. Mm, interesting reflection, interesting reflection. Can you repeat again, please, Mardo? Puedes decir a nuevo, please? To improve is to change. To be perfect and to change often. Okay, interesting, my dear friends. Ahora vamos a trabajar en esto. Después seguimos con los demás. In groups of three, we're going to check this. The name of the company, the place where it's located, the branches, and the headquarters. For example, here we have um, list three companies with branches in your country and the location. Location is ubicación of its head of its headquarters. Entonces, la ubicación simplemente me van a poner, you can add uh, the department, el departamento, o el municipio, or whatever, okay? So you say the company. You can use your company. Pueden utilizar, you can use your company's information, okay? El nombre de la compañía, los, eh, que las sucursales, okay? o si tienen eh, otro tipo de, de, de oficinas, y las oficinas centrales, ¿ok? Eso es todo. I don't know if you want to have screenshots, you can tener captura de pantalla, but I guess it's not necessary. But if you want to do it, uh, there's no problem. I'm going to give you like uh, three or four minutes, de tres a cuatro minutos, three or four minutes, I guess it's, uh, ok, voy a formar los equipos, así que empiecen, Think, uh, start thinking on your enterprise if you want. Si quieren, piensen en su empresa o en otra empresa que ustedes conozcan. Or in another company in which you work before, donde ustedes trabajaron antes. Okay? Give me a couple of seconds. Ay, me toqueo. Tranquilos, Ay, Tranquilos. todavía no lo he formado, ya están ustedes. Este Eli, me da risa que se le olvida. Extrañas a Mardo, ¿verdad, Eli? Ay, que realmente no se ha poniendo muy, no mucha atención porque eh, mi hijo me acaba de informar que, que está lloviendo fuerte donde él viene de trabajar y eh, como que la moto le falló en una gasolinera. Ah, oh, really. Entonces. But Is he okay? Pero sí está bien. Sí, sí, sí. Solo que me preocupó un poquito porque eh, está reciente hay, salir a la vida laboral. Ah, okay. Hay una gran tormenta Imagen eléctrica. La noche. Uh -huh. Y dice que se, le, se vino como un medio torbellino y lo escapó a votar. Ok. okay. Bueno, pero que, que esté bastante... Ok, my friend, see you in a moment.
Edwin, necesitaré que ingreses, Edwin. Dice, hola. ¿Qué pasó? Eh, me, sac me sacó de la clase. Ok, ahorita. ahorita te estoy enviando la otra. Ok. Eh, supervisa las, perdón, me dijo. Instituciones financieras, así le tenemos que poner sí. en inglés, ¿verdad? Sí. Veamos. Hello, ¿cómo estamos acá? ¿Everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Eh, sí, sí, creo que sí, pienso. Porque okay. me primero ir el, el, el nombre ¿verdad? de la compañía, de Ajá. ir a la sucursal, Ajá. Y, luego, y luego digamos la sede de donde digamos Ajá. el departamento. En branches, en la sucursal, me van a poner dónde están las sucursales, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, okay. San Salvador, okay. Ajá, si okay. está en, en Multiplaza, y los el headquarters, metro, si están dónde, Ajá, si está en Plan de la Laguna, o whatever, ¿okay? Eso okay. es en los branches. Okay. En los branches es eso, y en, también en los headquarters, es la oficina central. ¿Dónde está la oficina central? ¿Ok? Ok, ok. okay. okay. Gracias. Sencilla. No se complique mucho en la, en la dirección. Pónganla sencilla. Ok. Ok. Solo el lugar. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Perfect. Perfect. ¿Quién se está emocionando, Mardo? ¿Quién, quién está emocionando aquí? Es que aquí Alicia, chocamos con dos compas. Es que aquí chocamos cuatro, ¿va? pero estamos haciendo de diferente uh, empresa. Coro, Santa Ana y qué, Metropolitana. San Miguel, San Miguel, San Miguel y Te junté, junté el equipo de Dinamita, la regué. Okay. Solo faltó Carolina, <ríe> la cara. Okay. ok, ya se la puedo mandar. <ríe> okay. No, pero aquí tenemos a Oscar, ya. Ya, ya con eso mucho poder, right? Sí, yes. poder. demasiado. Demasiado poder, ok, perfecto. Right. Y... En México tenemos... Yes. Oh, so these are fights. <laughs> Se um, verán ca in... cambiándole, cambiándole <laughs> inglés, español, inglés. But in this stop. case, uh, they <laughs> were casi me la creo, like... casi me la creo. Textiles <laughs> to be like one on the branches or or no? I'm sorry. Are you asking? Yes, to Gabriel. Yes, in in the in the Salvador, uh, textile La Paz is only. Okay. Oh, yes, fabric in the manufacturing. Y era buenísimo. Y era ah, bueno. está bueno aquí, a ver. La plata. Okay. Gracias, gracias. No, everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Yes. Yes. Ahí vamos. Perfect. De Banco Agrícola. Ajá. El compañero Banco Agrícola, Banco Agrícola,
Okay. So, Mardo, can you tell us uh, the name of one company, the name of a company, the branches in the headquarter, please? And then uh, Kenya. Uh, Asial El Salvador. Okay. Headquarters, que Saltepeque. Branches? Uh, Santa Ana. Perfect. Good one. And we go with Kenya and Ellie. Hey, teacher. Company Industrial Lake San Jose. Mm -hmm. Central Market. Y Highquarter Barrio Santanita. Good one. Eli and Pinto. Company Andam. Branches. There are four branches. Coro, Santa Ana, San Miguel, Metropolitana. Headquarters, eh, Andam Metropolitana. Good. Pinto, Wendy. Companies, Banco Agrícola, Branch, eh, Multiplaza, Headquarters, Colonia Escalón. Good one. Wendy, Oscar. And company, Adoc, eh, the branches, um, Plaza Mundo, mm -hmm. y the headquarters en Soyapango City. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oscar, and Durán. Company Guión Juan El Salvador, eh, Branch de la India, eh, Headquarters de eh, Sur Corea. Ok. Eh, Durán en Kenia, no sé si ha pasado Kenia. Sí, teacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Te quiero poner a participar. Durán en Carito. Ok. Uh, the company is the uh, Delta Apparel, uh, Branches en. Honduras, Mexico, in the Salvador. On um, Hasquare is uh, uh, Rosario La Paz. Okay, good one. Carito and Evelyn. Okay, teacher, uh, my name, my company name is uh, Industrial Lacta San Jose. Branches, uh, we just have one. Okay. Pair course and it's in La Colonia Santa Anita in San Salvador. Well, okay, perfect. Yes, yeah, just one plan and inside is the office. That's all. Yes, but that company has like uh, around how many? How many employees? 40, 30, in, 20? Total. In total, we are like 38. 38, okay. Well, yeah, it's a small company, but efficient. Okay, S haciendo propaganda, Carita, okay. Bah. No, porque tú trabajes ahí. Verdad, pero. Okay, good. Evelyn and Yvette. Uh, companies, Ironman, mm -hmm. Branches, MRO Holdings, uh, Headquarters. Eh, La Paz. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yvette and Luis. Companies, eh, Superintendencia del Sistema Financiero, um, Brushes, um, eh, Salvador del Mundo, San Salvador. Okay. Por el Salvador del Mundo. Mm -hmm. eh, y Headquarters, eh, Torre Futura, San Salvador. Okay, interesting. Luis and Carlos. Okay, teacher. Uh, company, John Wang, Branches, North Korea, Carquarter, Estados Unidos. Good. United States. That's perfect. Carlos and Claudia. Okay, teacher. Company, Textiles, La Paz, Branches, Zona Franca, El Peregal, eh, Edward, este, ya no me lo logro dar, Edwin. Ok, sí, sí. se quedó a medias. Ok. Sí, sí. Claudia y Gabriel. Eh, company Simán, Branches, Avenida Olímpica, Headquarters, Santa Tecla, eh, no. Banco Agrícola, en Soyapango y en Headquarters, Séptima Avenida, Santa Tecla. Ok, thank you. Gabriel y Wilfredo. Ok, Edwin, eh, eh, Companies. Grupo TRL, me dijo. Eh, Branch eh, San Salvador. 
Y este, ¿cómo se dice esa palabra? Headquarters. 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 Eh, Tapán. Ok. <ríe> ok, Gabriel. Headquarters. 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 Yes. Eh, Wilfredo en Edwin, si sí está listo. Companies, eh, Banco Agrícola, eh, Bauxes, Santa Tecla, Hell Waters, eh, Colonia Escalón. Ok, good, thank you. Ok, now para cambiar un poquito de, de aire, ¿quién se me quedó? Creo que, bueno, Edwin creo que no está listo. Ah, yo, ¿cómo no? Yo soy listo. Ok, Edwin, ready? Eh, Carlos Abrigo, work in John Juan, El Salvador. Uh, ranches is in Oroquilta La Paz. Headquarters is in Bangladesh. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, now let's go with what's the name of this song. Actually, uh, tonight is the turn of Elisa, but I don't know if Elisa is ready. Are you ready, Elisa? No sabía que a mí me tocaba. Así es la vida, Eli. Ok. Si quieres, te doy un par de minutos para que busques alguna. Uh -huh. El problema no va a ser buscarla, va a ser compartirla desde el teléfono. Ese es el punto. I like you to learn how to share. Todos están aprendiendo a compartir. Agape. Yes, oh. it is good. It is good. Es, tú me dices si puedes ahora, Elisa. Buscas una, tomale captura. Estás desde el celular. Sí. Okay. Uh, Duran, okay, if you want to, to do it, Duran, and tomorrow, Elisa, okay? Okay. Okay, and I'm going to give you some time. Te voy a dar tiempo, Gabriel, or are you ready? No, right? Si no te doy unos minutos, unos minutos, okay, Gabriel? Duran, so you can be ready. Um, mientras tanto, mientras Duran no va a compartir Primero que busque la, la, la canción y después seguimos, ¿ok? So, here we go with this. Match. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Tell me, tell me, Durán. Yep. No, es que, es que quería compartir y me dice que solo el anfitrión para el anfitrión. Ah, ya estás listo. Si sí, ya estás listo, ok, yeah. ahorita. Ok. Ok, ahora sí. Ok. Good, because we have just 20 minutes and finish the class. Solo 20 minutos y terminamos la clase. Ya casi, ya casi. It's Wednesday. I know it's difficult. Los miércoles son difíciles, pero son más difíciles los lunes. Esa es la motivación de la semana. That's the motivation. Mondays are terrible. Come on. Just two more days. Dos días más. And we are on Saturday. So. Steffi, hoy te has ocultado de nosotros, Steffi. What's going on? What happened? ¿Por, por qué, Pichón? Hmm. Okay. Hasta ahora que te veo, Iba, que estabas de camino. Ok, Durán. Uh -huh. eh, ok. ¿Necesitas más tiempo, Durán? No, just uh, this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, can you read it, please? Yes, our pirate just the rub and so on their merchant sheet, might not after their thought. I from the bird's feet, but my hands was my strong. Be the half of the enemies we forgot is this generation triumphantly. Okay, good. Triumphantly. Triumphantly. Yes, Triumphantly. it's a really good song. I consider yes, uh, in I like songs. Yes, that's one of my favorites. And I consider that Kenya has Kenya knows the name of this song. Right, Kenya? Es el género que no me gusta. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
Ok, Marley. Carlos says Bob Marley. Yes, yes, eternal Bob Marley, el eterno yeah. Bob Marley. One of my favorite singers, yes. Y a Kenia no le gusta. Ok, Kenia, thank you. Ok, does anybody know the name of this song? Ya la habían compartido la vez pasada, right? Yes. Redemption. Yes, Redemption Song, la canción de Redemption. Yes. Actually, the, yes. Yes. Actually, the the meaning of this song it's very profound. It's the, bien profundo el, 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 el significado de esta canción. Es bien simbólica. It's really yes. Simbólica. Okay. Uh, habla un tanto de la esclavitud, de, 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 de todo el tema de, de, de cómo fueron, pues, digamos, eh, el tema de la esclavitud, cómo fueron oprimidos, ¿verdad? Eh, la, la, pues, eh, por, la, por los blancos, dicen, entonces, bien interesante, interesting. Ok, thank you, uh, thank you very uh, much, Durán. So, you are free, ya estás libre de esta actividad. So, Eli, for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is okay. Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. And on Friday, we have uh, Steffi. Okay, Steffi? Don't okay. forget it. Cuando terminemos la canción, recuérdeme quién va después, porque a mí se me va, me emociono con ustedes. Me emociono. Okay, thank you, Duran. Very nice. So, here we have this, match. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien se recuerda qué significa match? Relacione. Relacione, une. Uh -huh. Vincule. Yes, good. So, ah, la buscaste, carita, pues no vale. Ok. No, oh. teacher. Ah, quieren, broma, broma. Querido. La Ay, cacharon. No. Yo sé que carito es muy sincero. No, es que estoy actualizando las redes sociales de Industria Láctea San José, porque aparte de la de calidad, soy la de ventas. Y le pegamos a todo, teacher. Está dura la crisis. Ok, yes. Así, hay que hacerle de todo. Ok, nice. So, Banks, here we have banks. It's here the finance industry. Okay, the finance industry, que es la industria de las finanzas. Banco, banks, okay. Que se trata sobre las finanzas. We have soft drinks, soft drinks. Uh, we have guided tours, cardboard boxes. ¿Qué les dije que significaba cardboard, cardboard boxes? Cajas de cartón. Cajas de cartón. Cajas, cajitas de, de cartulina de cartón. That's it. And here we have um, buildings. Eh, buildings eh, significa construcción. Okay, edificio, construcción. Okay. Um, eh, mobile phones. Obviously, you know what, what is mobile phones. Medicine, car components, eh, hair, hair salon services. Clothes, ok. Eh, si sí, hablamos de soft drinks, son bebidas dulces, o sea, sin alcohol, como nos gustan a todos nosotros, right? Ok, good. So, now that we have, yes, uh, number one, let's, uh, you tell me, what do you want uh, uh, to match? ¿Cuál quieren vincular? We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, ok. So, you tell me, number one, for example, letter E, ok. O oh, me pueden leer esto. Por ejemplo, pueden decir, oh, for example, you can say banks, uh, the finance industry. Okay. Volunteers for this. No. Hey, teacher. Hey, okay. teacher. Okay. Kenya, Wendy, Ellie, Luis están con todo. A ver si no se la gana. Vaya, Kenya. Okay. Number seven. Seven. Medicine. Okay. Medicine. What letter? The, uh -huh. the pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical. Así fácil. Pharmaceutical. No te compliques. Mm -hmm. Pharmaceutical industry. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, now here we have Wendy, Ellie, and Luis. Okay. Wendy. Okay. The six mobile six. phones. Uh, mobile, mobile uh, phones. Mobile is... phones uh, is the, the telecommunications industry. Telecommunications, yes, industry. Telecommunication. Really good. Okay, Eli and Luis. Number three. 
A mí me ganaron las dos anteriores igual. También dije eso hace un par de años, Luis. También lo dije. Ok. Ok. We go with Ellie. And then Luis. Ya vamos a ver qué otra inventamos. Ok, Ellie. Uh, number three. Number three. Okay. Guided uh, tours. Oh, guided tour. Um, sería la E. The tourist industry. Industria. Ok. I. The tourism. I, the tourist industry. Uh -huh. Tourism. Bien rara esa palabra. Tourism. Tourish. Tourism. Tourism. Uh -huh. tourism. Eso, that's it. Tourism. tourism. Uh -huh. Son pocas palabras que tienen M al final. Y la S antes. Ok. Good. Thank you. Luis, are you ready with the other? Y que después creo que va Oscar, que me había dicho. Ok. Uh, number eight. Number eight. Car components. Uh -huh. uh, uh, automobile industry. Ok. Yes. Automobile industry. Good. Oscar. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Hair yeah. salon service. Hair salon service. Uh, eight. Eight. The eight. beauty. The, the beauty is um, personal care industry. Yes. The beauty and personal care industry. Good one. Okay. Do we have some others who wants to participate? Ok, Carlos. Mi teacher. Carlos y mi. ¿Quién es mi? Mi, mi, mi. Mi teacher. Evelyn. Ok, Evelyn. Ok, Carlos y Evelyn. Ok, si pueden, me levantan el, la manita, el emoji. Ok, más fácil. Ok, Carlos, Evelyn. Ok, teacher. Ten. Closed. What is closed? Sí, the, the, the textile industry. Ah, uh, textile, textile industry. Yes. Ten. Ok. Um, Evelyn, and then we go with, creo que Mardo me dijo. Ok, eh, Evelyn. Number five, buildings. Buildings. Eh, letter B, the construction industry. Yes, that's it. Um, construction industry, perfect. Who said me? ¿Quién di alguien dijo me. Ok. So, if nobody is ready, I will pick to Claudia and Carito. Oh, me teacher. Ah, ok. ¿Quién dijo mí? Oh, me. Eh, Gabriel ah, Durán. Gabriel Durán. Ok, Durán. Ok. Uh, the, in number five, uh, four. Number four. Cardboard box. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. The cardboard box in the packing industry. Yes, packaging, mm -hmm. packaging, packaging yes. industry, industry. Okay, nice. And Claudia, the last one. Uh, seven. Uh -uh. Uh, uh -huh. Medicine. <laughs> no. Uh, no, 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 no. Number two, self drink. Uh, number drink. Beverage. Um, uh -huh. Beverage. In the, in the, The beverage industry. Ah, beverage. Bien rara esta Ajá, palabra. Beverage. Sí. Beverage. Beverage. Beverage significa bebidas. Beverage. Ok. Beverage. Número dos. Yes, that's número dos. I'm sorry. Ah, ¿yo qué puse? El siete. I'm sorry. El amor está en el aire. I'm sorry. Two. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. Ok. Uh, we're about to finish. We have all oh, just 10 minutes. Solo tenemos... Uh, nueve minutos, nine minutes. We're about to finish, okay? So for this, um, I will ask to Ellie and then Evelyn, okay? Ellie, Sabir, okay. First, we spend a lot of time making a living with not enough time living it. Uh, Madre Teresa de Calcuta. I like second. it. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, second. You never know how strong you are until being strong is the on, on like, only option left to you, Bo Marley. Bo, oh, yes, Bo Marley, yes. That's uh, the only option. Okay, good, Ellie. I like it. And Evelyn, and after that, we go with Yvette. Uh, okay. 
true leaders must be, must be must be will sorry true true leaders must be willing to sacrifice everything for the freedom of the of their people uh, churchill winston churchill no ¿Quién lo dijo? No. Nelson Mandela. Ah, Nelson Mandela. Ok. Yes, <laughs> yes a really good one. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yvette, and after Yvette, we go with Kenya. Um, there are two ways to light your life. One as if nothing is a miracle. The, the other is if everything is a miracle. Albert Einstein. Well, Brian, so good, thank you. Kenya and then Wilfredo. Okay, teacher. You have to dream as if you were eternal and laugh each day of your life as if it were your last. Hmm. Uh, author James Dean. James Dean, okay. James Dean, I guess he was an actor, I guess. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Perfect. Wilfredo and um, Gabriel. Two things define you, your attitude when you have nothing, and your humility when you have everything. Everything. Uh -huh. Anthony Design. Yes, I like that as well. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel and Edwin. Okay, there is no place like harm. Um, okay, good. And who who is I'm sorry, who is the the what who is the the author? King is the author? Dorothy. Dorothy, okay. Ah uh, yes, from yeah, there there is no place like home. Dorothy is from no 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 no. There there is there no, is no place, place like home. Sí, no hay lugar como el hogar, verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. But the other, donde he escuchado eso, que nos dijo. No, deja en pausa este Gabriel. Estás pensando. Ok. Um, um, home sweet home. Hogar dulce, hogar. Ok, home sweet. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Ok, thank you. And Edwin. Ok. Only a man who feel the almost respect is capable of feeling the utmost happiness. It is necessary to have wishes to die in order to know how good it is to lie. Alexander Dumas, writer of the Code of Monte Cristo. Yes, uh, Ale Alexander Dumas has like, like three great books. Uh, Lo de los tres mosqueteros también es Alejandro Dumas. Uh, the Man in the Iron Mask, El Hombre de la Máscara de Hierro, también es de él. Really good books. Okay, thank you, Edwin. And okay. quien se me quedó? Steffi. Okay, teacher. True happiness consists in doing good. Mm -hmm. De Aristóteles. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Okay, my friends, we're about to finish. Ya estamos por terminar. Recordarles, remember that uh, be responsible with the homework, sean responsable con las tareas, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a estar, pues, pendiente de eso. I'm going to check the attendance list. Y, and thank you, thank you, because I have seen, well, I noticed that you have, uh, you are prepared. You are prepared for the activities. Están listos para las actividades. Si notan, hay un, there's a big difference between um, between to be prepared and to do it at the last time. Si están preparados, ustedes leen y, su, y si se dan cuenta, se, se escuchan bien, se ven bien, porque tienen más fluidez. Pero si lo quieren, si preparan, no preparan bien su respuesta o solo la escriben, 
y no la, no la practican, cuando vienen a decirla, están pausados y las actividades son más lentas, la clase es más lenta. En cambio, si ustedes lo dicen un poquito más rápido, más fluido, entonces se siente más genial. Hay como hay una vibra más positiva. Así que, pues, espero que sigan así, pues, tratando de mejorar. Recuerden, remember, this is the second week. Nos faltan dos semanas más, aparte de esta. Y mi objetivo, my objective is that you can develop more fluency. Mi objetivo es que si desarrollen más, más fluidez todavía. Más vocabulario y más fluidez. Ok. Say hello if you listen your name. Present. I am here. Or whatever you want to say. And Carlos okay. Abrego. I am here. Good. Pinto. Hello. Hello there. Carito. Present teacher. Nice. Edwin. Present teacher. Good. Elisa. Good night, see you tomorrow. Casi, Elisa. Tonight is your 10-minute session. <laughs> ya me estás despidiendo, mira. Now, come on. Keep on waiting. Mantente. Espera, espera. Steffi? Present. Okay, Evelyn? I'm here. You are there. Gabriel? Hello, hello, teacher. Hello there. Uh, Duran? Uh, good night, teacher. Good night, Yvette. Good night, teacher. Hello. Kenya. Bye bye. Luis. Hello, teacher. Mardo. Okay. Um, Oscar. Hello, okay. teacher. Thank Hello, you. Teacher. Wilfredo. Okay, thank you. Present, teacher. Nice. Claudia and Gwen. Present, teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Excellent, my friends. See you tomorrow. Descansen. Nos vemos mañana. Okay. Eli, te quedas. See you tomorrow, teacher. Have a nice day. Tomorrow, okay. teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye teacher. Okay, Eli. Déjame ver acá. Okay. Okay, Ellie. Uh, do you want to? Va a ser bien breve eso, verdad? But you want to reinforce? Quiere reforzar algún tema, algún vocabulario, alguna estructura gramatical? O vamos con la interview? O vamos con las entrevistas? En entrevista. Okay, la entrevista. Vamos con las interview. Okay. Uh, permíteme. Um, let me see. Wait, no, I have it. Sé que lo tengo por acá. Okay, um, go with this. Ok, comenzamos. Could you tell me about your family? Whatever you want to say. You can describe your family. Uh, you can talk about the personality of your family. To say where they live. Whatever, lo que sea de tu familia. Eh, bueno, vengo de una familia grande de parte de my father. Fuimos okay. 12, 12 brothers. 12 brothers, okay, good. Um, tengo four. I have hijos. four. I have four. Four kids. Uh, you have four kids. Four kids, yes. And six um, uh, nietos. Uh, grandsons. One son. Okay, grandsons, okay. Uh, tell me now. Could you tell me about your job, about your work? What do you do? What are your functions? What are the things that you do at work? Uh, uh, 
work uh, work um, order silas uh, mm -hmm. from anda ah okay mm -hmm. uh, atiendo los the, the market the market de anda mm -hmm. um, uh, Reviso algo como de check. quality, uh, check, check uh, product and the empresa and the industry. enterprise on companies. Okay. Okay, Eli, uh, tell me what are your favorite places to going out? Place where you like to go out with your family or you, you like to go. Mm -hmm. What are the places? ¿Cuáles son los lugares? Um, me encanta el campo. Okay, you like uh, like the forest, the countryside. Okay, and tell me, let me see. I'm looking for some other questions. What is your favorite music? Uh, Rock Spanish, okay. Eh, romantic, mm -hmm. de from de la viejita. Okay, old, old. Old. En ese old. caso, te explico acá. Hay hay algunos que dicen así, ve. Oldies. Oldies old significa this. como música viejita, por ejemplo, oldies music, oldies rock, oldies romantic. Mm -hmm. So old that's how. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, let me see. Can you describe your house? Puedes describir tu casa? Rooms son um, cuartos. It's an apartment. Ah, it's an uh, apartment. Okay. Um, two room. Mm -hmm. uh, cook, um, cook uh, and comedor. Uh, dinner. Uh, a dining room. Dining room. Uh, la sala. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, tiene una azotea o terraza amplia, no sé cómo okay. se dice. Mm -hmm. The roof. Uh -huh. Roof part. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, vivo en la cuarta planta. Okay, you live in the fourth I, floor. Floor. Okay. Eso es el piso, ¿verdad? Fourth floor. Okay, so, and mm -hmm. Okay, tell me what do you do on vacations? Uh, November. Uh it, yes, but uh, what do you do? What activities do you do on vacations? You go uh, to the beach, you go out with your family, you visit some friends, visit family, you go to the countryside, go to another in country. In my vacation, in my vacation, uh, personal home, uh, four days work. Four days, mm -hmm. okay. Four. Work, o sea, en medio de las vacaciones hay días que los trabajo. Uh, some, some no, hay days, cubra, um, no hay okay. quien me cubra. Okay, so sometimes you have to work. Yeah. Sometimes you have to work on vacations. Okay, and vamos a hacer algo. Okay, and to finish, uh, let's practice this. Vamos a practicar un poquito esta conversation. Okay, para ir Okay. Yep. Comienzas tú. Hi, Mario. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some time for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. Important. Mm -hmm. Important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer extend when I can visit them next week? Please do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. 
Right, I'll do it today. Thank you. This next task is also important. Can you invite everyone, everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And, and finally, finally, and finally, can you write a short report about your new project? Okay, to give a presentation to your manager next month. Please do it when you have time sometime in the next two or three weeks. It's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hard take your time ok good thank you uh, Eli puedo notar de que cuando hay palabras hay un texto o hay una conversación tú puedes hacerlo bien te salen pero hay, al, hay ciertas preguntas y cosas así cuando son libres siento que quizás no encuentres el vocabulario eso siento porque en cuando son actividades así no tienes problema incluso Cuando está, tenemos las speaking activities, veo que no tienes problemas con eso. Porque lo dices, no hay problema, porque lo preparas. Pero siento que sí debes de aprender un poquito más de vocabulario para al momento cuando te hagan preguntas. Porque ahí siento que, que te hace falta un poquito más. ¿Oíste, Eli? ¿Verdad? Vamos a ver. Es lo si... mismo que le quería preguntar, cómo poder... Eh... Mejorar en eso, porque sí, eso lo ah, he sí, que ya lo una que conversación vamos a hacer... libre. Uh -huh. Lo que vamos a hacer es que voy a enviar preguntas de interview, de entrevistas, para que ustedes mismos vean cómo pueden contestar a eso, para que desde ya empiecen a generar más seguridad cuando te pregunten algo que no te agarren así como que a la deriva, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a hacer eso, se lo voy a enviar okay, en esos días. Bien, Eli, se nos acabó el tiempo. Ok, un gusto como siempre verte. So, I Thank hope you, to see you tomorrow. Ok, te veo mañana. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.